Nicholas. Brought to you by Lafayette Roofing. Welcome back. Our storm team has been uh, real busy covering Tropical Storm Nicholas and keeping us up to date. So let's send it over to Storm Track 15 meteorologist Corey Smith with the latest on Nicholas. Corey, what do you have for us right now? Good evening, Jeff, and it's a little bit of a different look here. Typically, we just have the forecast cone, but I've put the rainfall expectations underneath that because that's really going to be the big threat going forward here. So as of 4 p.m., 65 mile per hour winds, the system's going to make landfall somewhere between Port O'Connor and Galveston in Texas tonight and start to work towards the north. Now notice already a tropical depression by Wednesday and moving towards the east here. So very likely we don't even see tropical storm force winds here in Acadiana, but look at all this heavy rain on the right hand side of the cone. And we always talk about that. The eastern side of the storm is where we see the biggest issues, and that's going to continue to be the case as you go through about Wednesday here in Acadiana with all that heavy rain. So let's break everything down. You can see the storm making landfall tonight, and then as you go throughout the next few days, multiple rounds of very heavy rain. And then as you get towards Wednesday evening, things do start to at least dry out a little bit. So it looks like about a 48 hour event ahead. So let's actually break down here what we can expect expect across Acadiana. Tonight we do have the chance of maybe some severe weather in the form of quick spin up tornadoes as we get this rain to move off the coast. Some of those frictional differences are going to cause things to spin up quickly and we can't rule out tornadoes here in the overnight. This is 1 a.m. We're starting to see some of that steady rain move in and that continues through the early morning hours. But right around 4 to 5 a.m. is when I really think things start to pick up. We're going to start to see that heavy rain moving through and notice the little bean shape of some of these cells within all this rain. That's where we could see those tornado issues. So uh, you can see already seeing some pretty heavy precipitation at 5 a.m. That lasts through about midday. And I think that's really when we start to see the flooding concerns arise is late morning towards the afternoon. Tomorrow temperatures are kept cool uh, with all this heavy rain continuing throughout the day. Gusty winds possibly gusting up to 40 to 50 miles per hour. And then as you head towards the later portions of Tuesday, a little bit more off and on on our rain activity, but still seeing some very heavy precipitation. So the flooding threat still going to be going on Tuesday night and then of course into Wednesday as the center of the storm starts to move north of the area. You're going to see at least some more drier air working in as you go into Wednesday. But really I think once you get towards midday Wednesday is when that flooding threat and the threat for tornadoes starts to die down here as you go throughout the next uh, 48 hours. So really looking like a really uh, eventful next uh, couple days here with this system moving through. Of course if you see flooded roadways, you're going to want to turn around and not drive through them. As for the amount of rainfall, you can see Futurecast putting up around three to five inches. We expect that to be higher, especially where we see these bands start to form and really sit over the same area. So right now the thinking is around five to seven inches of rain here across Acadiana. You could double that number, I think, in some locations where we see some of those higher amounts of rainfall as you go, especially into tomorrow. I think tomorrow's really going to be the big problem day. I think if we see any flooding as well as tornadoes and you can see that here on the storm threat as you go from the mid morning through pretty much your entire Tuesday, that flooding risk uh, almost on the high end here. Tornadoes are possible throughout the entire event. Of course, some coastal flooding as well with those southerly winds and then maybe some gusty winds as you get into Tuesday afternoon. Take a look at the seven day forecast. The next two days is where we see all that rain occurring. Temperatures are kept in the middle 80s. The system starts to move out, but we don't get rid of the chance of rain. Scattered showers and storms and temperatures near 90 degrees as you head towards the weekend.